hi beautiful people welcome back again to my channel if you're new to this channel my name is florence i'm a cameroonian based in japan i'm a mom of two working full time in japan okay so on this channel i talk about my lifestyle in japan i talk about how you can come to japan how you can live with your family in japan and how you can get a job in japan okay so please before i forget i am not a travel agent so some of you are coming to my inbox to say can you help process my document i can't process your document i only give you guys information and guide on how you can do it yourself okay most of these things that you guys go to agents to do for you you can actually do it and last time i was talking to someone and i said the person was being lazy and the next thing i heard was we were being insulted if you are telling me that i am lazy you don't understand you don't know what i do you don't know what i go through but you want to pay me to do something for you okay so you guys I just want to use the opportunity to advise some of you. Do you know why agents eat some of you your money? Because you put pressure on them, okay? You 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 want them to do what they cannot do. You want them to help you where they cannot help you. What you can do yourself, you actually want them to do it for you. Okay? So on this channel, I give you guys the best information. I guide you. In fact, I give, I tell you what I can tell you that will help you to come to japan and live a life in japan and if you're already in japan and you're watching this video you just came to japan new and you're wondering like how am i going to survive just click the subscribe button okay turn on your notification i'm going to be giving you guys some secrets some tips on how to easily succeed in japan do not listen to anybody go and do your research yourself there are a lot of people in Japan. There are many people in Japan with so many fake information. Such information will rather derail you or rather than helping you to succeed. So please, if you want the right information, please be careful and take time to select the kind of advice that you get from people. Okay, so on today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to apply for a teaching job on Gaijin Port. How you can submit your application, how you can um, make your CV, build your CV on Gaijin Port. Are you ready? Okay, so if you have your certificate ready and you have your old CV with you or your other CV with you, please take time put it down and let's start together i'm going to be switching to my laptop so please bear with me if you cannot see very well i'm going to be switching to my laptop so i can explain to you guys to understand the process of applying for a teaching job not only teaching any other job you want to apply to on gaijin port okay so let's get into the video all right guys so I'm going to be taking you guys through the step-by-step -step process on how you can apply for an English teaching job in Japan using the Gaijin port. Okay, so remember I told you guys there are so many websites where you can apply for a teaching job in Japan. But today I'm going to be taking you guys on a step-by-step -step process how you can apply for an English teaching job wherever you are. Not only an English teaching job, you can equally apply for other jobs. So I'm just going to be showing you how you can create a CV online. Because Gaijin Port, you cannot deal directly with the company. You can only create a CV where you can apply. So the first thing you need to do is go ahead and type here. Sometimes it's not easy to do this thing. Go ahead and type here Gaijin Port. Um, Gaijin Gaijin port. So can you see? This is it, the third one. Okay, and then you click. Okay, so you are going to see so many Gaijin ports are going to open. You have this one, and then you have Gaijin port jobs. So you click on Gaijin port jobs. So this is how it's going to look like. Let me kind of adjust my camera a little bit. This is how it's going to look like, guys. Okay, so can you see 
up here at the top you have um log in that is if you already have an account so when you're creating your account on guiding port remember always to keep your password so for me i use my email and my password to for my um registration and then if you are new you can click here to register okay so if you just want to to find out or to check to look for jobs now you come here you have full-time jobs now you have teaching jobs you have part-time jobs non-teaching jobs and you also have remote work okay no nihongo no nihongo stands for jobs that do not require japanese nihongo means japanese language so it has to do with jobs that do not require japanese okay I'm going to scroll a little bit down and then here you have some recommended companies so you have inaba inaba is a big company um it is with food and beverage you have a universal campus this is more of english and education so you see education slash teaching and then you have the westgate corporation it also this with education and teaching these are english teaching companies nova all all of them are english teaching companies now if you want to see more companies you can click here view all companies and they are going to show you all companies now remember when you create your account for you to subscribe to your job mail newsletter on the job mail newsletter they are going to be sending you updates up updates about jobs excuse me they are going to be sending you jobs that have been advertised by the company and the company is looking for workers and then when you are looking at those jobs there are some that will be mentioned that overseas applicants are welcome to apply so those types of jobs hurry and go there so here we are we have overseas okay so now if you're looking for a job please do not forget to look for overseas if you are not in japan and if you are looking for a c job supported by recruiting agencies you can also click here and you can also click on direct hire okay so now let's go back to how you can apply how you can create your uh, register your account the first thing you need to do is click on register account and it's going to tell you welcome to gaijin port jobs and then you here you input your name your last name your email address and your password and then you register once you do all of that you register it takes you to the next page okay so for example i'm going to put um uh, my name just a short name and then uh and then i'm going to put another name i'll put one of my email address okay and then i'm going to input my password okay um inputting my password i i hope that is correct okay and then i'm going to click register let's see if it goes I'm going to click register it shows that uh please agree to the terms so i need to agree to the terms before i can click register so i'm going to put my password one more time and then i'm going to put it again and i'm going to put subscribe to job mail can you see this box if i don't want to subscribe to job mail i'm not going to click that but i need to agree to the terms and privacy statement and then i click register and then that's it check your email okay now um it's asking me to save the password never i'm going to check click um here to send a new verification if you haven't received anyway that is that so once you get the check my email 
you have already created or register now what you need to do is you need to click on my resumes okay good after you get your email you click on my resume at the top start making your resume you take create now good now this is already my name remember the names i entered when i was trying to create my account so they will definitely use the name but you can edit you can edit it by using this button rename your resume what is the name of your resume at this level my resume is only five percent so you need to add up a, a lot of things first you need to add your career objectives you need to add your educational history you need to add your work experience and then you need to add up your certification and the next thing you need to do is your personal information your visa status if you are in another country of course if you're in japan you need to add up your language you need to add up your skills you need to add up your personal status desired work personal interest association rewards and website so now these are all the things you need to add up and then your resume is completed once your resume is complete they're gonna ask you to publish the resume whether to publish your resume or not publishing the resume enables recruiters to easily see your resume and contact you directly unpublished resumes are the ones that remains private that a recruiter cannot contact you unless you apply for the job and once you start applying for the job this is how to check if a company has sent you an invitation or not the first thing you need to do is come here invitations click on invitation okay so i just clicked on invitations and i have no invitation from any company so if you get an invitation from a company it's going to be showing like one like a blue a, a, a red number one and then you can come here you have all jobs companies invitation my applications from my applications you can see all the number of companies you've applied to so that you do not make mistake reapplying to the same company over and over again so and then here you're going to be receiving messages if a company sees a recruiter sees your resume and they want to hire you they are going to send you a message this is where you can find the message and then here you can always update your resume you can always edit if there's anything that has changed you can always edit your resume at this point i hope this um i hope this video uh, goes a long way to help you how you can create a resume and start applying for a teaching job in japan now let us take let me take you to how you can apply for the job now this is a full-time job okay so this is when you click you see the job opening staff english teacher needed for bilingual kindergarten in hugo okay this is what happens and um, once you see a job like this you click here okay the job fully opens and then you look at the salary you look at the requirements the description of the job and you scroll down right at the bottom of it and then this is the application process application submitted screening process five to ten business days first interview is online introduction to school and second interview in person and online and the official offer of position onboarding and visa support if necessary meaning that this company hires from overseas so you can apply for this company so what you need to do is here if you want to apply um since i just created an account so they say for security reasons your account needs to be verified before you can assess the full futures throughout guiding port meaning that i need to check my email address to confirm remember i didn't confirm my email address when they emailed me to confirm the verification if it is me or just a robot okay so once you get that confirm if i had checked my email you will see at the bottom of the the job you will see where to click apply and you click apply you choose your resume and then you submit okay 
they will tell you click apply and then choose your resume you click on a resume i remember some companies also require a cover letter so please you also need to create a cover letter alongside your resume so once you go to your resume you can always create a cover letter most jobs require cover letter so now i'm going to click on my resume it shows that my resume is incomplete and it's telling me to create a new resume if i don't want to continue with this one thank you so much for watching and if you have any question you can always email me or you can always follow me on my facebook handle flora's blog or flora's vlog or you follow me on tiktok flora j40 that is my tiktok name on this platform you can always get to me to ask me questions on how you can do it on my next video i'm going to explain to you guys how you can apply to teaching jobs also using other websites and how you can get to companies also directly thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video goodbye